Rob writes in, does Bruce know about Butch Reed and his Netflix money or how over he was in Florida? The hell's his Netflix money? That's a new one. You got to explain that one to me. You don't know about this? I don't know about this. Oh, this just came out this past week. I can't believe you're behind. I thought we would have talked about this by now, but it was just revealed that Butch Reed was one of the founders of Netflix. He's a fucking billionaire. Oh, Butch is a, is a billionaire. Billionaire Butch? Billionaire Butch. It's like the million dollar man, except, you know, real. Now, is this real or is this some goddamn fucking fable bullshit? Nah, we made it up on Tony Schiavone's show, but we're trying to get it going. We've already affected Wikipedia, which tells you how reliable that shit is. I already know how reliable that bullshit is. Uh, billionaire Butch. What the fuck was the question? Did you, did, did <laughs> I was fascinated with Netflix. Did you know he created Netflix and how over he was in Florida? Motherfucker was over like a motherfucker in Florida. I'm going to tell you that right now. Interesting question here. We've never talked about this, but man. And the, wait a minute. Did you know that he's a hell of a rodeo uh, bull rider and shit too? Dude, did you know? And, and I mean, I don't know if you've seen this, but if you type in on any of your social media platforms, I like Twitter, of course, at, Hey, Hey, it's Conrad. But if you type in hashtag butch read facts, there are a ton of things that you'll learn about butch read that you didn't already know. Like one of the things I think that people don't know is that it was, it was he that was able to tear down, you know, the wall over in Russia. You know, a lot of people credit Ray and like a Mr. Gorbachev. It was actually butch read. That was him personally in that deal. Well, I knew that. Oh, okay. Well, so I'm just saying, drop a little hashtag Butch Reed fact on everybody. Cause I feel like he's one of the unsung heroes of wrestling. Well, yeah. I mean, and, and Butch was the original elf on a shelf. I didn't know that that was his gimmick too. He created that too. Yeah. Hmm. Originally it was Butch in the butch on a uh, hutch, butch on a hutch is what it was yeah. originally. And that didn't catch on. So then they, he came up with elf on a shelf. It's sort of like the knockoff George Foreman grills, man. Can you imagine if Hogan would answer the phone? Anyway, it became instead of butch on a hutch, it was elf on a shelf, which really caught on. I think, I mean, it's brought the magic of Christmas to a lot of our young listeners. Damn right. Okay. <laughs>